Jumpy Ducks, welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. How are we doing? Um, today we're going to be looking at an Oracle deck and this one is Self Sorcery, Sorcery um, Oracle. It's a 42 card deck, a guidebook set and it's by Lisa Lister. Um, the publishers are Hey How, so we did look at this, Sharon and I, when we did the um, Spotlight a couple of weeks ago on new release uh, decks that were coming out in the UK. Um, and I, I remember being really taken by this and the artwork reminded me of an oracle that I got about seven, maybe eight years ago now. Um, it was very early on when I first discovered the YouTube uh, community, which is the Wisdom Keepers. I think this was originally a black and white deck and then it was released as a colour version. But um, just to give you a quick example, um, if you look at like the, the design, I mean, these are more intricate in, in detail. I think the card on the top is actually a mirror, so you won't want to see that. <laughs> But um, you get the idea of, um, you know, the kind of close-up images um, of the faces. Um, yeah, and this this is a wonderful, wonderful Oracle deck. Not one that I've used for a few years now. So um, I was going to say I'll leave it out, but I want to I wanna work with the self-sorcery for a time. But I know a lot of this deck was very, very popular. Uh, when it was first released. Um, I don't know if it's still available. So um, at least there's something that for me has quite a, a similar vibe out there. Anyway, like most um, Hay House decks, it has these compact, sturdy two-part boxes. Um, I love the inside design. It says, remember your magic. Remember your magic, um, which is quite Cool. Um, and then on the back it says remember your magic this oracle has been channeled and drawn with love by creatrix Lisa Lister to help you connect to your creative life force as source access your unique to you magic and remember that you have the power to feel heal and co-create your own well-being now, Lisa Lister is uh, well known in the community. She's the best selling author of Witch. Um, that's the um, black fronted book with just the word witch in the, in the centre. I often see it in uh, Waterstones, the bookshop in, in the city here, when I go in there. And I've often pondered about picking it up. Um, she's an artist, oracle ritual, and ceremony guide S well woman therapist and a movement in practice facilitator so yeah and it retails at uh, it's only got the us prices here 24.99 in dollars canadian 33.99 um so but i'll put the link in the description for the wellness emporium and um, cheryl sent me this and as always, if you're ordering through Wonder Symposium, if you use the code uh, Hermits10, then you'll get a further 10% off, which is which is lovely. Um, we've got a nice little book. It is a, how many pages? 153 pages. There aren't any illustrations. It's just all text. Um, and I'll show you what sort of, um, text you get or how much you get a page and a half as you can see here full of yourself uh, you get a transmission uh, you are the source Rus. Um, she who is defiant I guess this is quite female centric she who is defiantly the full mother loving spectrum and knows that the most submersive and rebellious thing to do in response to the lifetimes of shame and blame is that so many of us continue to carry in our bodies, especially with regard to joy and pleasure, is to summon up her mother loving courage. 
Yeah, I mean, this is the only thing. I mean, that's what I love about this. It's balanced. Um, there are uh, males and females, lots of different ethnicities and cultural representations. It feels more uh, global. Um, I am kind of over now the whole um, only working with women. I think it, it has a place for women who want that space. But for me, as a, you know, a cis male, um, I I like balance, particularly well, I could say particularly in oracle decks. But I like balance everywhere in my tarot. Um, so that aside, um, you know, we'll take a look at the cards. These are the backs. I do like this back. Obviously, not reversible. But then, you know, if you're like me, I don't read re reversals uh, anyway. I'm just seeing if there are any males in this deck. Because um, I get that we all have, you know, uh, it's a scale, isn't it, of uh, masculine and feminine uh, aspects and traits, etc. But yeah, this is all, all females. Um, but anyway like the backs this deck would look really nice edged um it's tarot sized which i quite like that in an oracle particularly because i have like double pouches and things uh where i put a uh these this is um tarot vetros and oracle of vetros where i can you know if they're both um tarot sized i can uh you know, use a double pouch. So, as you'll see here, yeah, perfect tarot size. All right, let's bring the camera down and we'll have a close-up look at the cards. Okay, so just before we look at the cards, I just wanted to uh, give a quick over overview. I've just had a, a read-through of, uh, it's called a love note, which talks about um, the deck being um, female centric. So that is its intention, which, you know, if that's stated at the beginning, I think that's absolutely fine. Like I say, there's a place for, for everything. Is it a deck that I'll probably keep? I will probably pass it on um, because like I said, I, I like, um, I like, a bit more balance um and i think the i think lisa had a, a deck out previously called she sirens um so that's that's the realm in which uh she uh works within this kind of female um energy um here there's a little bit that i'll read about uh, an explanation around self-sorcery it's worth mentioning as well that there was a book uh, that precedes this called self uh, self sorcery so self sorcery is super simple and yet thoroughly complex yep as is the way of the feminine and this oracle is firmly in the realm of feminine magic because we need it more than ever self sorcery is paradoxical because there's nothing to learn and everything to remember it's archetypal, mythical, and ancient, and it's real time, parallel, present, and future all at the same time. So what is self-sorcery exactly? And then there's a whole uh, section of the book here, it's self-love, it's liberation, it's your magic. Um, tells you a little bit about the snake because it's quite prevalent throughout the deck. Um, and it comes from the book where you meet the Pythoness. She, again, uh, is in capitals, where she is mentioned, it's in capitals. Um, and the snake is representative of Kundalini, uh, an energetic and creative force that moves up and through our spine and energy centers. So, um, and again, you'll see that when the word she is used it's in capitals so um yeah so a little bit here about um the deck uh how it's structured uh, 
Yeah. So quite a nice little read actually. And then how to read the cards, creating a space, etc. And then we've got some spreads. More ways to work with the oracle, and then we go into the cards. Okay, so. All right, as I said, I think this will be nice uh, edged in black. Uh, I think the artwork is wonderful. I really do. Uh, there's something about the vibrancy. I do like the, uh, the close-up kind of images. As I said, it reminds me of Wisdom Keepers. Um, but it's more, it's more easy to handle, um, yeah. So I'm not gonna read every title, I'm just going to, again, we've got the snake here, you see, which is quite representative. Love the fiery energy here. Cultivate courage. It's a very happy expression. Know that you know, there's some diversity here. As you can see with the cards, lean back. Let your body remember. Cardstock is really nice. You can see it's a nice thick cardstock. It has a matte finish. Um, perpetually becoming. That's kind of Frida Kahlo esque look there. Reveal yourself. Again, the, the serpent. Lots of um, elemental energies as well she looks like somebody quite famous i can't think of who she is though it's kind of but this was the thing uh i mean she's got madonna's eyes <laughs> this was the thing with um the wisdom keepers people were um saying oh i think that's robin williams and a and I don't know if there was any any truth in that or whether it was just coincidental, but this is a this is a beautiful, beautiful deck. Reclaim your center. Some of the cards are quite androgynous as well, which I like. We've got different age representations. Know your flow. Oh, we have the pomegranate here. of the mysteries I think it said it was 44 cards um, I think that's what it said on the back of the they're not numbered so I, I guess the book is listing the cards in uh, I like that you have the power to choose I guess they're listing them alphabetically C, B, oh no, then we've got wise one. See, some of them, no, they're not alphabetical. Uh, which would make it quite difficult to, uh, you know, if you're shuffling and you just pull a card, so then you've got to thump through the book. I guess there's the index page there, isn't there, that would, would help. Um, and it looks like they're put into groupings, although the groupings aren't on the cards. So that doesn't really help when uh, when trying to find the card to know which grouping it is. Other than I guess that's probably what the colour banners are for as well at the bottom. But again, you'd have to know what each colour association is with the group. Anyway, um, that's self sorcery. Oracle by Lisa Lister. Um, it's beautiful. Oh, look, I've happened to just randomly choose the same card as the uh, the box. Um, not one I'll probably keep. 
although I, I can appreciate its artwork, but it doesn't, uh, I don't think I'm its intended uh, audience. Um, and so, you know, for me, then the, the Wisdom Keepers is, uh, is one that kind of ticks this box for me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget, if you want to get this deck, Cheryl has it in at the Wonders Emporium. Uh, information in the description below. Until next time, go in peace. Namaste and blessed be. Mm -hmm.